I'm Ben Hush, I'm National Sales Manager for Agriculture for Yanmar. We're at the 2016 National Farm Machinery Show and we're introducing our new YT3 brand of tractors. Uh, this tractor is a little bit different than what you've seen on the market lately. This tractor was designed by Mr. Ken Okiyama, who is uh, the only non-Italian to ever design an Enzo Ferrari. So it is um, it's somewhat a, a, a very stylish tractor, very ergonomic design, extremely comfortable cab. Um, but what uh, what you have to keep in mind that it, it's not a fragile product. It is it's a very durable machine. It's got uh, something uh, we like to call IHMT technology in the transmission. It's an integrated hydromechanical transmission, and it's similar technology to what they use in uh, several models of tanks. Um, this transmission allows you to um, have an infinitely variable. Uh, speed selection so you're never in between gears for the tractors. One thing that we're very excited about this year is that the, the compact tractor market has really taken off. We've seen over 10% growth in um, the compact tractor industry overall and, and Yanmar has exceeded that growth as a company. So we're very excited about that. There's a great opportunity for dealers. We're looking for dealers in a lot of areas. We've got a lot of open territory to fill. So if you're looking for a dealership opportunity, give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. For more information, please check out www.yamartractor.com. Daniel Hitchcock, uh, work with Yanmar America in the engineering department. Uh, we're here at the National Farm Machinery Show 2016, Louisville, Kentucky. And I'm here to introduce the new IHMT transmission that we are bringing to the American market for the first time. Um, Basically what we have achieved with this transmission is a combination of efficiency but maintaining the variable transmission speed that you would achieve off of your traditional HST transmission. Uh, <clears throat> the easiest way to explain this is in a traditional HST transmission you have your pump side and you also have your motor side that are more fixed to the transmission housing but on the new design what we've done is we've incorporated the pump and the motor onto a single shaft and they spin together. So when you're picturing the way that this works, instead of the HST pumping faster as the travel speed of the tractor increases, with the IHMT transmission, as the tractor speed increases and you get to your working range, your pumping is actually reducing. So that's where you see all your losses and that's why we're getting a higher efficiency out of this transmission. Um, so in essence, it's really taking where an HST is efficient at low speeds, you don't have much going on, but as you get into your higher speeds, you lose efficiency. But everybody knows that's not where you're working at. We've taken the efficiency range and shifted it from basically zero back into the working range where your farmers or whoever's working can take advantage of it. The simplest way to picture it is your traditional HST transmission. When our tractor is sitting stationary, it is essentially the same thing as an HST running in reverse with a comparable HST transmission. And what it's doing is the output shaft is working, spinning exactly the opposite way of the main shaft that the assembly is on. What this does is it holds the tractor stationary but as you slowly increase speed, your output, which is equivalent to your motor on a traditional HST transmission, that's going to slowly slow down. So once you get to your ideal speed, and what you end up having is your pump and your motor are going to be literally coupled together once you hit the ideal range. So your HST component of the transmission is no longer working like an HST, but you're still working with your tractor. So at that point, it's working comparable to like a clutch would work. So you have more or less a direct link from your engine to your range transmission to your final drop. So what we have here is, this is your swash plate like you would have in a traditional HST transmission. And the position that I have it here, the reason this is angled, this would represent your stationary position of the transmission. Normally this wouldn't work with an HST, but the reason it works now is because you're actually pumping fluid in this position, and that fluid is holding the motor side stationary. So you can see that these turn independently of each other. So what's happening 
as this would be spinning, your output would be held stationary in place by the pressure that's generated from the pump side. As this goes back to a more neutral position, this is what I was trying to describe to where it's more coupled together and there's no pumping going on. Your swash plate is in the neutral position of like a regular HST would be sitting still. But now because this is in essence hydrolocked, your motor and your pump are going to be coupled together and spinning at the same speed. So now this whole thing is going to be spinning in a unit together. And now you have the efficiency that everybody wants, but we still have the variation of what you would get with an HST.